Welcome to the Edupedia World, Virtual World Free Education. Hi, I am Suraya Said, Microsoft Certified Trainer. Let's continue our introduction to the user interface. Now, we are going to talk about formula bar. It is located directly below the ribbon. It is divided into two main parts. The first part at the left is name box and it is used to quickly navigate to different cells in a spreadsheet. The second part is formula box. It can be used to show cells content. The content of cells can be text, number, or formulas and functions. For example, the first cell's name is A1 and you can see its name in the name box and it contains number 1 which is shown in formula box. Also you can use the name box to navigate to specific cell. If you write the name of the cell that you want to go to and press enter. For example, type Z30, press enter. Excel will go to Z30. Also, you can use name box to select range of cells. If you want to select cells from G10 to M16, type them in the name box and press enter, Excel will select that range. Also, you can use name box to define cell's name. If you want cell C16 to be named as total, so select C16, write in the name box total, then press enter. Now, cell C16 is called total. If you click anywhere and you want to go to C16, click the down arrow of the name box. You will find all defined names. Click total, you will go there. Also, if you want to define a range of cells, for example, from cell C3 to cell C14, I want to call them unit price. You are not allowed to use spaces in the defined name, so we get a warning message. So, use underscore instead of spaces. If you click anywhere and want to select that range, go to the name box, drop down list and choose unit underscore price. Great! So, from the previous examples we just have taken, we used name box for navigate to specific cells, select range of cells, Define cell's name. Now, let's talk about the formula box. The formula box shows the content of the cell. For the first moment, if you look at column A, you notice that it is narrow and some text is hidden. But if you look at the formula bar, you can read the product name completely shown. Or you should drag the separator between column A and B to show the complete text. You can also use the formula box for editing cells content. If you want to edit this number to be 18.4, you can correct it. 
in the formula bar and press enter or you can write it directly in the cell so write 18.9 now let's take a few tips about formula bar to expand the formula box click the down arrow at the end that make you show all the formula if it is too long number two if you want to hide the formula bar go to the view tab and uncheck formula bar to show it again recheck it let's try it ourselves yes it works but i don't recommend anyone to hide formula bar because it is very useful since it enables me to know cells names and content thank you for watching edupedia world videos see you at the next video